Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to Vlogmas nice to day down five. Here. Yes, you do have to crouch down. It's like when I vlog with Freddy. <laughs> I know, otherwise you just get decapitated. How did Lucy and Will do it? Because Will is tall, isn't he? Lucy and Will. English with Lucy. Oh, she doesn't really vlog Her that much. husband's really tall. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we are still in Franklin, Tennessee, and this morning it is such a glorious morning that we thought we would go for a little drive. We're just going to go for an explore, and then we have got yoga here at the hotel. So and a sound bath. And really a sound important. bath, hence the makeup free face at some point during these vlogs I will actually <laughs> put some makeup on um, but I think we're gonna head to a little village nearby called Leapers Fork and just explore the local areas so without Very further ado excited. let's go little village but it is absolutely beautiful the drive here through the countryside I'm not gonna lie is exactly what I was expecting for Tennessee just beautiful rolling hills farm buildings lots of white picket fences and horses and cows um, and I think this is quite a that's cute I think this is quite a historical village it's still very early in the morning we're still a tiny bit jet lagged so not much is actually open yet but i think we're definitely going to come back a little bit later when some of the galleries and the shops and the cafes are open but it's just beautiful isn't it what do you think darling it's very um it feels like the image in my head of like a, an american village town has been created it's very, yeah like it, it, it lives up to expectation doesn't it it really does it's super quaint and i just love all the old fashioned you know they've got the old oil pumps there we saw we saw an old um, cop car cop car yeah sheriff's car yeah um, i love how no cars drove through the whole village the whole time we've been walking and as soon I know, as i put the camera on you there's like five cars out, isn't it? yeah well, seeing as nothing's open yet, I reckon let's get back in the car, do a little bit more exploring, and then we can pop back later when everything's open. To the hotel we're gonna have a quick breakfast here before yoga and then carrying on with our day just found out that that beautiful scenic drive that we just went down from the hotel to Leapers Fork apparently is where a lot of the biggest country music stars live I was thinking that these houses are quite mega um, including apparently Taylor Swift and Justin Timberlake can't quite believe it but I feel like this area is kind of I don't want to sound completely ridiculous, but I do feel like it's kind of like the Cotswolds of the US or at least the Cotswolds of Tennessee. It feels like the, you know, this is where the loveliest houses are, the farm shops, the most beautiful scenic, scenic drives, scenic landscapes. And what we saw on our only 40 minute drive this morning, we were just tootling around. I feel like what we saw this morning is what in my head is like stereotypical Tennessee with the style of the buildings and the farms, the rolling hills. It really was beautiful. But I mean, look at this gorgeous day that we've got now. Um, we're gonna be having yoga in the studio back here in one of the barn buildings very shortly. But first I've just ordered some buttermilk pancakes for my breakfast. Gosh, can you tell? I rather love it here. Right, darling, what have you got for your breakfast? I have steel cut oats. 
steel right, cut so oats. Pecan, pecan milk. Nice. And then it's, it's you know I have steel cut oats at home. It's essentially like a really really thick oat. Mhm. Mm um, that's your healthy bit. And what else have we got? Bit. I don't think that's crazy unhealthy. Is the grits? Grits. And have you figured out what grits are yet? It, it looks a bit like semolina, doesn't it? Looks like rice pudding. Mm. I don't know. It looks amazing, and I have got the most sensational. It's super bright and sunny. It's delicious looking apple pancake. Oh my gosh. It is the most plump pancake I have ever seen in my life. And a cinnamon roll as my side dip. Hello again, my darlings. We are back in our cabin now after an hour and 45 minutes of yoga and sound bathing. Is that the verb? Sound bathing? Sound bathing? And it was absolutely heavenly. Both Charlie and I completely zonked out during the sound bath. The lovely yoga teacher made us feel very, very comfortable. And then we both woke up and thought it had been like 10 minutes but actually it had been 40 minutes so we were we were fully out but it was a lovely way to start the day especially after our little drive through town um so now we are getting ready for the rest of the day i think it might have become a little bit cloudy so i'm not sure if we're actually going to head out anywhere or just get a little bit of work done here because it is still a working week i'm doing as minimal work as possible but still have to do a little bit so i'm just going to to probably just gonna sit around just with some nice skincare on my face and I have bought a few of my beauty pie favorites with me although <laughs> I might oh yeah I think that should just about last me this is the chi energy perfect after yoga uh, double cleansing ginseng and mysore water in fact I need to make sure I add this to my next box as a little reminder you can still use my josie sent me code and that will get you 10 pounds off your annual membership for beauty pie which would also be the most wonderful gift idea for yourself or a loved one because then whoever receives the gift of membership will just have access to the most amazing beauty products as you probably all know by now because i talk about them so much beauty pie um is a luxury beauty membership and once you sign up to the membership i'll leave the website link down below and you can see all the incredible products that they've got so many of my favorite products are beauty pie pieces um but then once you've got access to the membership you are essentially cutting out the middleman and getting factory direct prices so say for example this micellar water might have all the same ingredients it says made in switzerland so might have all the same ingredients as a 50 pound la prairie um micellar water and quite possibly made in the same place but this will be a fraction of the price because you're not paying for the luxury markup that um, brands put on their products. And I find that particularly true with things like body lotions. I don't think I've got it here, it's still in my hand luggage bag, but I've got the Super Healthy Skin Body Lotion as one of my absolute favorites. And the serums as well. The ingredients within these is the same as what you would get from mega luxury brands. And sometimes you can really guess exactly which product it is very, very similar to, but sometimes it's a little bit harder to guess. Another of my favorite Beauty Pie examples is their, <laughs> sorry, it's quite used, are their beauty sponges. These are identical to a very famous brand of <laughs> beauty sponges. One of said famous brands beauty sponges would be, I think it's 17 pounds, whereas you can get 10 beauty pie ones, I think for like 10 or 12 pounds on the website once you've got the membership. So it really is so worth it. Uh, once I've got my skincare on, this is the Super Drops High Intensity Hydration Serum with Hyaluronic Acid Fitucel Vita and Aqua Rich. I'm not sure, but I started using this just before we came out to Tennessee. I was testing it and it's super duper hydrating, which is exactly what you need when you are traveling on the go. Um, but also it's one of those products that I feel like would work with so many different skin types. So if you are looking to fill someone's stocking with some classic beauty products, maybe you are the friend in your friendship group that's always raving about beauty pie and you want your friends to understand, um, then this would be a great one to gift because I feel like it really shows 
the quality of the products and that just sinks in straight away i also bought with me their youth balm biologic collagen peptide cream this is a really wonderful anti-aging sorry about the <laughs> lighting by the way it's not the brightest day now after that glorious morning that we had yeah this is a super anti-aging moisturizer and i just feel like moisturizers lately have got so ridiculously expensive so the fact that i can get amazing ingredients within beauty pie products is a dream <laughs> okay so i just went to go and get my little super healthy skin this is the mini version of their body cream it's so light i always think that it's empty and then when i go and check <laughs> it's completely full so it's fantastic for traveling because it's literally the lightest moisturizer in the world while my moisturizer sinks in before i pop my makeup on i'm going to show you a few of my favorite beauty pie bits which would be amazing for gifting so a couple that i bought with me first of all charlie and i like to do stockings for each other stocking fillers and we are both a huge fan of sheet masks and the japan fusion range from beauty pie is such a gorgeously hydrating skin calming range and they have got the 10 minute miracle sheet mask with micro hydration skin rescue featuring plant squalene phospholipids and white mushroom polysaccharides <laughs> I don't know what all those ingredients do, but I do know that this range is incredibly hydrating. So I thought this one would be a great one to bring with me because amazing for post-flight skincare. So I bought a couple of these with me and we will do a little bit of pampering this evening. Another incredible gift idea, and if you guys watched me actually unbox this Beauty Pie order, you'll know that I just went absolutely mad for this perfume. This is Figure de Dalmati. Excuse my very awful French accent attempt. I describe this fragrance. Firstly, it smells so similar to the warming coziness and just loveliness and recognizableness of Bronze Goddess. That is what it reminds me of, but not quite so only suitable for summer. It's like a winter warming version of Bronze Goddess and it is absolutely one of the best perfumes I think I've ever smelled, <laughs> full stop. I also unboxed a few Beauty Pie candles with this order. Obviously did not bring them with me to Tennessee because that would have been a little bit weird. But yes, if you are looking to gift fragrance either for the body or for the home, they're, I think it's called Christmas, was it called Christmas fir or fir tree? The green candle would be the best candle to gift a host. If you're going to stay with someone or you're going for like a Christmas drinks or nibbles party, then that candle from Beauty Pie is just the most amazing festive fragrance and yeah again this would just be the most gorgeous stocking filler. What I'll do is leave the normal retail prices and then the members prices on the screen for all of these products because then you can see what an amazing discount you get when you are a Beauty Pie member. I actually forgot to bring a BB cream with me which is very annoying um, and I just like to wear something a bit lighter on my skin when we are away and um, not necessarily a full foundation so I actually picked this up in Sephora yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. It is the Dr. Jart BB Premium Beauty Balm. Multitasker with niacinamide, hydrates, conceals, protects with SPF 40. So I'm gonna pop a tiny bit of that on. Where is my sponge? Using my Beauty Pie Beauty Blender. And because this has got SPF 40 in it, it's perfect for a winter SPF. To be honest, normally at home I would put on an extra SPF and not just rely on my BB cream. And then even though we flew in <laughs> three days ago, I still have a little bit of darkness under my eyes from traveling tiredness. And this is the Beauty Pie Super Luminous Under Eye Genius Corrector in the shade Light Medium. And it's just the balmiest, creamiest, loveliest under eye concealer. I like to put it on initially with my fingers. It's got really good coverage, but it feels really creamy and hydrating at the same time. And it is just so illuminating. I, I wish the lighting here was better. We are moving to Soho House 
in Nashville tomorrow night. You might actually see this in today's vlog actually because I am doing while we're in Nashville because it is Christmas in the Cotswolds. You know, I didn't want to have an entire week of <laughs> Christmas in the Cotswolds being Tennessee videos. So I'm doing two days per vlog. So also within this vlog, you'll probably see us moving to Nashville from Franklin. So you might get to see the Soho house in this vlog, but if the bathroom has better lighting, then maybe I'll do more of an evening makeup with you there. But yes, if you are looking for just the most gorgeous, illuminating under eye concealer, then highly recommend this little one here. Now I always like to put some lip balm on, lip balm straight after doing my base because then my lips can be hydrating before putting lip products on at the end. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin uh, Lip Balm. <laughs> it's also got SPF 30 and I have probably got about 10 of these. One in each makeup bag, one in my car, one in every handbag that I own because it's just super handy, super duper handy, really nice and nourishing, and SPF 30. Are you going to eat your whole sandwich and have half of it? I'm not sure. Is it? It's sort of ham with coleslaw, cheese. Could you just leave it and I'll be out in 10 minutes and I'll eat what I desire? I just leave half because I just want to finish mine now. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, now it is time for me to open a beauty pie gift to me from me. So this is the most glorious um, makeup brush set, which in my opinion, oh, it's just gorgeous, would be the most incredible Christmas gift. And also I feel like good quality makeup brushes, they're hard to find, but when you do find good ones, they are blooming expensive. Now I am obsessed with this particular brush. I washed it last night <laughs> from Beauty Pie. It is their <clears throat> Pro Blend brush. And I have this in my everyday um, handbag makeup bag all the time because it's so good at picking up powder, powdering your T-zone, but not caking those areas because it's this kind of duo, dual fiber and it's really fluffy at the top. It is the perfect powder brush. So that's probably become my favorite makeup brush of all time over my Tom Ford ones, over my Le Mer makeup brushes. It's just the best so i'm a full lover advocate of beauty pie brushes and in this set you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you get ten brushes in this set which quite frankly is amazing so i will continue to do my makeup using these brushes and they are just so gorgeous in the gold i'm going to use this one for my bronzer it's called it's actually called the flawless finish complexion brush but i think the way that it's angled will make it fabulous for doing a little bit of contour, contour, because I'm not a makeup artist, with my bronzer. Because then you can really just choose the areas that you want to apply it. So I take my bronzer firstly on my cheeks, and then I almost do a number three. So if you imagine a number three, that is what I do with my bronzer. So at the top of my hairline, cheek and chin. When you watch me doing my makeup, you're not getting like professional makeup advice. You're getting, this is how a normal person that does their makeup because I'm certainly not a pro. Right, what's this one? So this one here is called the Sculpting Contour Brush. It looks like this. And while I don't contour, <laughs> what I do like to do sometimes is apply a secondary bronzer. This is my By Terry Sunny Flash. And I like to apply it because it's a little bit more shimmery and I do actually use it like some people might use a contour. Oh, it smells good as well. Just to bring a little bit more shape into my face. And this one's got such a nice warmth to it. I feel like it's an instant kind of healthy complexion. This one here is called the Pro Angled Blush Brush. I don't normally apply my blush with an angled brush, but let's give it a go. Kind of makes sense actually because it hugs your cheeks. Mmm. I love that. 
And now I am <laughs> quite desperate to powder because all of that skincare is so juicy that I do have to apply a little bit of powder. So I'm gonna go, this one doesn't come with a brush set, but this is the one that I was telling you about before and using my Rodeal Glass Powder, just delicately popping some on my T-zone. This brush picks up the most perfect amount of product. And I also take it under my eyes as well because we don't want my under eye concealer going anywhere. This brush honestly just gives the best coverage. Okay, up next, this is the Effortless Blending Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm actually very picky when it comes to eyeshadow brushes, but this looks absolutely perfect. And here we have a very good example of a fabulous alternative to a very expensive makeup product. You might find that this looks very familiar. And let me tell you, the quality of this versus the brand that you might be very <laughs> familiar with is identical. Pa often the packaging will give you a little bit of a hint as to which brand the products are similar to. <laughs> Trying to be careful what I say here. Um, so I'm just gonna go with this nice light brown kind of mushroomy color. Or well, actually I would say it's kind of toffee. I'm only taking a tiny bit because we don't need to go overboard today. This eyeshadow brush is just perfection. It's super fluffy, doesn't pick up too much product and fabulous for blending. I'm just gonna stick with one color on my eyelids because we're not doing anything fancy this afternoon. But then there's this lovely sparkly shade here which would be great for adding in for evenings. That would be great for defining the lash line and for creating a little bit of drama in the crease. Actually, I'll probably forget later so I will show you now. This is the, this is called the Pro Eyeshadow Smudge Brush and it looks like this. And this is really fantastic for taking those slightly darker shades. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to talk and do this at the same time. And pressing it into your lash line and it gives a kind of softer alternative to eyeliner. Can you see the definition that that's given? And what some people do is they actually make it wet, which gives even more color payoff. I've got no idea what you can see in this lighting, but in my little ring light here. <laughs> it looks pretty darn good. I'm very happy with that. A touch of mascara. And now I'm just gonna finish with the Beauty Pie Fresh Glow Breathable Setting Spray. It looks like this and it's a really lovely, super fine mist. And now the lip balm has sunk in quite a bit um, and my lips are nice and hydrated. This is the Beauty Pie Wonder Gel Longwear Lip Liner. And I've got the shade Rummy Pink. <laughs> and sometimes for a very subtle lip, I'm sorry, the lighting is so not good. That is all I will pop on. <laughs> right, and now before I go and sit down to do a little bit of work, I am majorly procrastinating. Um, just a couple more amazing gift ideas from Beauty Pie, which yes, I bought with me to show you. So I actually think that this will be my number one thing that I will be gifting from Beauty Pie and it is their silk pillowcases. Whenever we have guests come to stay at our house, they always comment on how lovely and luxurious it is to sleep on silk pillowcases. They are so good for your skin, your hair. You don't wake up with a creased face. It stops you from snagging your hair and they are just so luxurious. This one actually has a really beautiful burgundy. Can you see it's got like a burgundy piping? Um, and... Silk pillowcases can get very, very expensive. This is 100% mulberry silk, which is super top, top quality. And it's you can even see the quality, it just has the most gorgeous sheen to it. I would give someone two of these <laughs> for Christmas and they come in these absolutely gorgeous little gift boxes. So I need to order myself another one to go in our spare bedroom because sadly, Beauty Pie, you don't do king size silk pillowcases yet. And that is what we really need for our bedroom. And then I actually kept um, my eye mask in this little fabric bag because I wore it on the flight. And I don't like the idea of my eye mask just being chucked in my bag, touching <laughs> the rest of my things. So I always like to put my silk eye masks in a little pouch. Top tip. So this is, and I did actually bring 
Again, I bought the box just to show you how gorgeously these will come presented. This is 100% mulberry silk eye mask, which is great for any friends that love to travel, any friends that need a total um, blackout when they are sleeping, and I chose this red wine burgundy colour. They are really plump and thick and just super soft, super luxurious. Ooh, I've also got a beauty pie, I don't know if you can see, silk hair bobble in. A set of those would be a fantastic stocking filler as well. And yeah, you're just not paying crazy prices like you can so often pay, especially for silk things, beauty products, perfumes, candles. I feel like they've really chosen the product categories where other brands are kind of just like taking the mick a little bit when it comes to increasing of prices. So I'm always really interested to see what product category they'll go into next because I'm always very grateful when they do bring out a new product category. I've just realized as well <laughs> that my pajamas that I've bought here are also from Beauty Pie. They are the white ones with the black piping. They're cotton and they are so soft. Um, I probably will be too tired to talk to you later, but what I might remember to do is take a little clip in the mirror. <laughs> so if I do remember, then I will insert that here so you can see my lovely little contrast piping pajamas. And anyway, I've been talking to you for far too long, so I'm gonna catch up on some work now, darlings. Another mist of perfume for good luck. I will leave my Beauty Pie £10 off code on the screen. Josie sent me £10 off your annual membership and all the products that I have just chatted through with you down below. What a dream it has been to work with Beauty Pie this year. So thank you guys for supporting that. And yes, I'll catch you later. If the next clip that you see is us at dinner, then it means that we just spent the rest of the afternoon working, but we shall see. We shall see. Don't mind us just becoming Tennessee locals, doing our shop in Whole Foods. Honestly, American supermarkets. Oh, Dexter and Dickens would be in heaven. They have so much more of everything here and everything is so fun. Grout and tile brush. <laughs> <gasps> Look at all this dog food, oh my goodness. I wonder what rosés you can buy in Tennessee. Oh, pretty good selection. Whispering Angel, Miraval, Axe, is that how you'd say it? Axe? Axe en Provence? Pre-made gingerbread houses ready for decorating and gingerbread men. Oh my gosh, yummy. Wow, this is one serious menu. Look at this. Mac and cheese. Amazing. Dinner is served. We've got a wedge salad, fries, mac and cheese, cream spinach with a fried egg, asparagus with bananas. Charlie's got a bone in ribeye. We've got three sauces, and I have got a fillet, as they call it over here. Oh my goodness. I'm going straight in for my first Tennessee mac and cheese. Doesn't look dissimilar to my mac and cheese, actually. Good morning, my darlings. It is our fourth morning here in Franklin, Tennessee. It's actually our last morning here at South Hall because we are heading to Nashville this afternoon. Oh my goodness, <laughs> last night Charlie and I had a very bad night's sleep, not because of the bed or the accommodation or anything like that, but we have never known a storm to be quite as insane as the storm here last night. It started pel peltering, if that's a real word, with rain when we got back from the restaurant, which by the way was amazing. If you come to Franklin, highly recommend cork and cow. The steaks are amazing. Um, but yes, torrential rain. The lightning was so bright. It was as though someone was like David Guetta strobe lighting outside <laughs> the cabin and so loud. And even the rain was so loud. It was just like a constant <sighs> of rain um so yeah we didn't sleep particularly well hence the puffy face but never mind i don't mind a storm if it means we have beautiful blue skies at the following morning which we do charlie's done a little bit of stretching down in the gym this morning i've had a shower a very leisurely start to the morning um we're gonna go and have breakfast now and then we are going to check out of the hotel I realized I haven't shown you this gorgeous balcony area um, in the daylight. So this is our currently like caged in balcony, which is probably because of, I don't know, like leaves coming in or something. I don't know. Um, but there's 
but there's a wood fire stove out here which is just absolutely gorgeous a couple of very Tennessee style rocking chairs even a rocking sofa it's like a proper living room out here there's a rug there's a table there's like a food cart over there um so yeah it's a really nice area I wish we'd spend a bit more time out here actually but I feel like even though we've been here four days we've not really stopped it's been we've done so much uh so outfit of the morning although we might take some photos at Leapers Fork so I might get changed after breakfast I've got on my new basket weave um knit from Holland Cooper in the baby pink color which I love and it's so toasty warm jewelry is mostly Monica Vinada. I've got the lovely little hoop earrings, um, my bracelet cluster, and I believe my Monica Vinada 20% discount code should still work. So Josie, it's quite a complicated one, JFMV20, I don't know, I'll pop it on the screen here. My new bag, which has been the bag of the trip. I ordered this just before we came and to get in the Tennessee style properly, I have actually got on my jeans. They are the Miss 60 uh, fluffy on the inside jeans, so they are so warm and cosy. And then I have got my... <laughs> and then I have got my Saint Laurent cowboy boots on. So I feel very much dressed for the part. We are going to cycle down to breakfast um, and then hit the road. Full length out for the day. What a heavenly spot this truly is. Charlie's mode of transport this morning, electric bicycle. They're really lovely bikes actually. The brand is Blix, I think it says. They are electric, but it is a downhill journey to get to breakfast, so we don't need it turned on at the moment. This is our cabin, by the way. Isn't it gorgeous? You were saying we definitely want to come back and stay here during spring or summer. Or fall. <laughs> All the other seasons, basically. I bet I can have this lift. We're good. So slight change of plan. We didn't realise that the hotel aren't serving breakfast today. So we have headed into town to a place that came very highly recommended called Meredith's. I feel like this is, again, a very proper American breakfast experience. Charlie's got an egg and bacon sandwich. Thank you very much. An oatmeal and I have got a breakfast burrito and this looks delicious. Starting from scratch Brick by brick No path carved out for us now The brush is thick All I'm asking now Don't give up Okay, so we did a little bit of shop browsing in Leapers Fork and we've now come to the Leapers Fork distillery to pick up some Tennessee bourbon as a little souvenir. Cute little log cabin. Okay. Uh, and then the Tennessee whiskey has just a little more spice. It looks good, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah, look. Please don't go.
And just like that, we have made it to Nashville, Tennessee. We have just checked in to our hotel for the next three nights. We are staying at the Soho House here, which has been open since February. So it's one of the newer Soho Houses. We literally just arrived and luckily our room is already available because often Soho House rooms are not, um, you're not able to check in until about four o'clock. So let me show you our lovely room. Charlie's already so making outrageous. himself comfortable. It's a really beautiful, greeny eucalyptus colour. This reminds me of our gym, <laughs> don't you think? Do you know what? So I absolutely love everything about the room. The only thing I wouldn't have had done is the ceiling because it makes us it, it makes it feel very dark and quite small in here when it's actually quite a big room. Yeah, that's true. We have got a bathtub over wow. here. I've just noticed something that on the flip side is epic. That is such a good idea. That's the TV. The TV is hidden behind the blinds. That's epic, isn't it? Very good idea. Clever. But so I think it's um I think it's if not the top room category, then it's the second from the top room category. And we did get quite a good deal because we booked to stay for three nights. Um, I think the building is, oh my gosh, Charlie, look, I've just seen a ginormous guitar. Wow, Charlie, look at this. Giant guitar that says Nashville. Nice. We are in the music city after all. What was I saying? Oh yes, I think this building is an old sock factory that they have converted <laughs> that they have converted into the Soho House. So of course we have got cow shed goodies, shampoo and conditioner. Um, we've got the Roberts radio, super king size bed, lovely cushions. Hmm, very nice giant headboard and uh, we've got some quite old school furniture over here. Do you think we're going to have a coffee machine? No. American hotel rooms very rarely have coffee machines. What have we got snack wise? Mini bar. Snacks. Soho House Nashville snacks. What do they provide you with? Kernels. They might oh, be popcorn nice. kernels. Very nice. Pretzels. Pickles. Are these pickles? Oh, olives. Olives. This is the Soho House logo, by the way. The, Do you know what the, I love? The real. And they've got the non-alcoholic. It's basically like seed lip, this one. Oh. But I love how they've got that in rooms now. I just think it's nice. really nice that they're inclusive. <laughs> inclusive. Ooh, is that bourbon whiskey? Yeah. Very nice. And what's in this one? Could this be a coffee machine? Do you know? I think it might be. It is! Yes. Oh my gosh! Gonna go down a, a coffee machine! Yay! We missed having coffee in the room. And then we've got the wardrobes. And then our lovely double sink. We've got, is that the loo or the shower? Big shower with green subway tiles. The loo. Aha! Uh -huh. This is actually the first time I think that I've stayed in a Soho house since the launch of Soho Skin. So you now get um, a cleanser, a treatment lotion, a renewal serum and a face cream in your room, which I think is a really lovely idea. And I feel that this dress is very appropriate for our afternoon exploring in Nashville. It is from a lovely company called Pink City Prints, and it's this gorgeous kind of floral detail. You've got a scalloped bib detail going on here, and then I have cinched it in with my Dior belt and my cowboy boots. Okay, are we gonna head down, explore the house, and get some coffee? Yeah, right, let's do it. So we just stumbled upon this boutique called Savas, and it's essentially bespoke leatherwear, bespoke suede jackets. The quality is absolutely incredible. We've just met Savannah, who's the owner and designer. Charlie is loving these coats. My goodness, the quality is just exceptional. We are having a real explore, just walking from the hotel. And, oh gosh, tell us, darling, why is that person's name so funny? two years below me at school. He was a good rugby player, so I end up, he ended up playing in the first team while he was on the bench. His name was Christopher Peacock, and um, obviously people used to call him Chris, Chris Peacock. <laughs> and we joked about it, we said, you know, this, if ever there's a moment where when you're a parent, new parent, to all you pregnant mothers out there, think about the name in every simple way. Like, how's your first name going to be shortened with the surname? Anyway, Chris Peacock. <laughs> so, you've got to think these things through. Um, <laughs> otherwise, it can be quite embarrassing. Oh this God. brand, I'm sure it's fantastic. Also, I didn't think about crispy cock. <laughs> How much is that doggy in the window? Ooh, the one dog. with a little scruffy tail. 
No, he's walking with us. I'm in... Oh, he's lovely. Where is he? Good day to you, my lovely long friend. And we made it to the Grand Ole Opry. We are here, of course, for the piano guys this evening. One of the main reasons why we came to Nashville, Tennessee. So let's head on in. It's quite a notorious theater. I'm excited. I think I'll take you. Yes, we've got we've got our crew here. Okay, this is what we're gonna do here. I'm I'm gonna. 